Cosmic light, cosmic light. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Um, you know, I actually want to talk about this. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys know about what we call a vision board. A vision board. I know some people or most people, it's not a vision board to them. It's a vision wall, like a board or a wall where you paste pictures of what you want to achieve uh in your life uh so a vision board actually so do, do you really know the powerful of a vision board in a way because that thing is very powerful a vision board a vision one is very powerful because you know let's look at the word vision uh, vision vision the way it is vision it tells a lot man it's it like you envision yourself being in what you put in that vision board uh you you envision your life being that you portray uh being that you that the, that you portray on the vision board or vision wall so <laughs> you know there's a power of a vision a vision having a vision like this life thing if you want to achieve something you've gotta have a vision of it and a, perf a perfect picture of it so that vision let's look at what you call television tv uh tv the way it's, it's a weapon it's a weapon in a way to to temper and play with the minds of the people in a way it changes your perception towards life because it gives you what you have been fed like the visions that you have been seen on tv television whatever that you put in your mind and it's not actually television only it's also cell phones what we call these things um these things phones they have they call them the smartphones okay but then these things these things are mini computers they are mini computers cell phones are mini computers so whatever that you put in your mind it's what determines your life in a way so it's a vision so in television tv they are telling a vision through programs because when you scroll, you see programs. When you scroll uh, to the channel, you see programs on those channels. Uh, that whatever that you see there, it contributes towards your life and how your life unfolds in the future. Like it can be anytime, actually. Because uh, I remember, you know, <laughs> TV. I used to watch TV a lot. I used to watch TV a lot when I was growing up, but, but then as I was growing, I stopped watching it because it was nonsense. I discovered that it is nonsense, nonsense. Like through watching it, I was also paying attention to myself, the way I react, the way my emotions react, the way my energy react. And then I saw well, this thing, it's actually, play, it's a, it's a device to play with the energies of people anyway and it also contributes towards um, lives of people so hey you know hey, television i can talk I, I can talk a lot about television but then i won't do that but i used to watch it i used to watch stories like uh soapies like telenovelas like what did um your the drama series um your isibaya zavalaza with the queen new generations movango scandals rhythm, rhythm city etc i used to watch those things so these things <laughs> in a way for me to stop uh for me to stop watching television tv it was because i was seeing a lot of things that are put in there and also manifest in in the life that we perceive especially here in south africa like i can talk about south africa because i'm in south africa but then tv it's a weapon you should know that <laughs> sorry it's a weapon to temper with the minds of the people so seeing tv the way it has impacted the life uh, the overall society in south africa life that we perceive that the life that is in the lifestyle that is in here 
in South Africa. It's it's what has been put on television programs because I've seen a lot of crime. A lot of crime that we have nowadays is because of the television, TV, what has been put out in soapies, programs, dramas, and they always put the black person. So what does what that does in the in a, in a, in your mind in a way it puts a vision and you you make that vision happen because you know law of attraction in a way the universe runs in like it runs within your own thoughts you are a master of your destiny you control whatever you want to control with your own mind so your life is what you actually thought it's your thoughts you you live your thoughts in a way so the way crime has been and is been is, is is being like um in south africa it's because of the programs that they've put there these programs that you've seen on television are the ones that determines the, the life in a way they are the ones that determine that is determine the life that we perceive nowadays because it's visions that we put in our minds and now we are making them live in a way hence we are creators they call it creators we create so we have created this lifestyle now in south africa because of the influence that we got on visions that we we saw in a way we the visions that we saw on televisions media and stuff <laughs> so you know <laughs> it's cra- it's very crazy whatever that's happening it's crazy.